got a new one here. Let's make this just a bit bigger here. There's no sound. We got all of this and all right, I'm going to play this 25% slower and that already feels better. That's my general impression was that it's just a bit fast. A couple of things here. When you have someone at rest, it would probably be straighter legs and then they will lean forward into this pose where it's a bit more like that, where they're leaning forward, right? And then they're getting into the walk. What's happening now is that it's a bit of an uncomfortable pose to start with, but yeah, it could be whatever. Let's just pretend it kind of starts here. The thing that happens too is that you're lifting your leg. This is like a, it's not like a broader note for the broader mechanics here. This goes into detail that if you do lift one leg here, that brute needs to translate towards you for a weight shift. So if this is the front, basically, right? This is the hips and blah, blah, blah. That's your guy. If you lift that leg with my fantastic drawing, it's just, it's going to be something like this where your hips are changing this way and your body's basically doing this. If that makes sense. Why? Because you're lifting this leg and if you don't shift your weight towards us, this guy's going to fall over this way. So you have to feel that weight shift towards us. But then also this leg here, that's my dog. <laughs> this leg is taking all the weight and that's why this side of the hips are going to go up and push up, if that makes sense. So that's just the mechanics of kind of the beginning move. And this continues on. So what, what you're seeing here is that as the root goes forward, there's not that much up and down just yet. It feels very floaty. This being so straight also doesn't help. You're going to have to lean forward a little bit, but you're definitely going to have more side to side, a bit more up and down and shifting in the weight. And again, as your leg goes up here and these are, you know, that's your shift in the, in the hips, that curvature is going to affect the upper part. The upper chest here so that's the contrapose to pose but it's not going to be that extreme but you have to think in those terms of i'm pushing the hips up with this leg that has all the weight in it what what does that mean it's going to bend that spine so you have to kind of look at what's going on during all of those steps little thing here you got a pop in the leg where it popped from a bend to a straight and especially on something like this that's a pretty big step so you would still lean a bit more forward and then the lifting is going to be slower. This feels a bit effortless, right? Walking and then it's way versus you're going forward and then it's kind of a... Uh, and then you can fall a bit faster here because it's a drop and then it's... Uh, not that it's hiking like crazy, but I would still have some contrast in terms of fast, slow, fast, slow, and so on. What's also happening is that you have a very sharp stop on the... Uh, the spacing of the root here is basically doing this to give this a bit more of a nicer arc as it moves around. This feels borderline uh, off balance here, right? You should be leaning over the leg that has the weight for balance. So you're taking this off the ground and we're kind of behind that foot. That doesn't quite work either. Again, your spacing stops a bit too abruptly. I think you can probably go a bit straighter with the leg and that will come by moving the root a bit more forward here not just rotating forward, but moving the uh, the root, translating it forward. That's going to give you a bit more of an extension into all of this. And again, the speed makes it just kind of blip, 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 blip. Could work in terms of like a cartoony, more exaggerated way, depending on the character. But I think for just the mechanics thing, I will go fairly vanilla, as we said. It's kind of neutral, some good weight. And then after that stop, whoa, it gets really fast. We're going up here and there's pretty much no settle here and again we're feeling a bit off balance here you go a bit before but i would wait a bit and then come back and then that's a linear key right there so in your graph you're suddenly going like that in your in your ty so ease into this your graph is going to be more like this where you're going to go a bit slower the root can go a bit forward have a little pause again a bit of a hang time not hang time but kind of a pause here instead of going just pathwise you're going really straight like this right so when it's getting there you can see there's no there's no arc in any of this or like down here then watch out we're going to do a switch in terms of the pivot it's going to be center of gravity around the chest and it's going to like you have to look at the jump is going to be from here to here so it's going to ro rotate and pivot all through there but what's happening with yours is that you're starting okay i would still bring that a bit higher you can basically 
whatever your tool is, right? You can you can draw a you know whatever sphere here, go a bit higher, and you can say, okay, well that's my path, so my character is going to jump along that arc and land here. But what's happening here is that we're going this way, and then suddenly a bit too high here, and then whoa, I don't know what's going on here. Your pivot feels like it's almost like here, and it's pivoting around this, and then we're landing a bit too soon. Doesn't always have to be super clean. You can have a bit of weave. You can exaggerate those arcs depending on the style. But this just A feels too fast, and then the pivot is just not quite right. You have to look at really keeping it in the center, uh, center of mass there. And on that land, also feels really fast because you're going from this height down to here. It's going to compress pretty far down. It's going to go a pretty big compression. Hold, hold, hold the compression, and then come back up. And the sense of weight is gone by just having this such a quick return up to there. And then you could argue with this, you could take one more step. That forward momentum is going to force the character to take one more step, a bit of a settle. But let's pretend it's more like a gymnast thing and you want to land that properly. It would also be something where you would try to stay back there a bit longer. Because again, this feels like, oh, this forward momentum, this is going to continue. you got to take a step. But now suddenly character is able to go backwards with all that momentum going forward this feels not so realistic so at this point again take a step and then settle here more that would be my my variation of this anyway hope that makes sense i think it's a cool exercise i like that you're doing all the complexities of a walk like basically a a uh, stands to walk that transition is already it's a lot of work and then you have an elevation with steps which is cool and then from a walk to a stop again that's something different and then a jump, but an elevated one, not just forward or whatever it is. It's one that goes even lower, adding, like I said, more weight and momentum. I think there's a lot of cool stuff in it. There's complexities. So keep all that in mind. And uh, yeah, I would do another version and, and plus this out a bit more. All right. Thanks. All right. There's an email. You can sign up. You can start whenever you want. You can submit whatever you want. You get 16 submissions. Either way, a like and subscribe would be awesome. All right. Thank you.